So welcome everyone to the TMT workshop for Nest with Fedora 2020. Uh, I'm not hosting this workshop alone. Uh, we will be three here to support you and help you out and, and go through the workshop. Uh, Peter Splichal will be doing the main session. He will be going through uh, basically all the uh, prepared uh, prepared material that we have uh, through the examples. I, uh, with Pavel, will be supporting you via chat or uh, uh, directly on the call. And uh, yeah, as I said, please connect with audio video if you can so we can interact with each other and we want this to be interactive. We want to gather your feedback from the workshop, from the TMT tool. Uh, the main uh, document, the main, no, we don't have any presentation prepared. We have just this um, uh, this document here that we are trying to now share with you. And we'll be gathering the feedback here. We have uh, official, document, official documentation on the uh, Fedora docs page under TMT. Here is a link I'm sharing it also into the chat. And we will be basically going through uh, this document uh, together, like better will be doing that. Yes. OK. I think I'm added on Ralph. Hello. Hello. Hello, hope you can hear us. Uh, I can, can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can okay, hear so you. Okay, uh, yeah, I can, we can, I can hear you, all of you. Uh, Thanks for connecting, okay. I'm, I can't see who is, who is on the, if anybody has idea how to see who is else here, but seems that, seems that nobody else, because nobody else asked for moderation. Okay, better left for a second. Okay, um, I think we can start. Better. So I guess the floor is guys just stop the workshop. We can try to like look at some details what you are interested in. Don't feel to uh, don't don't be shy to interrupt. Uh, yeah, thanks, Pavel. You should have the document there. If you have also some notes, you can write it directly in the Google document that Pavel Valena now shared the last comment on the chat. And also you can use this chat any way you like. OK, so that's it. Peter, I, uh, the floor is yours. Uh, okay, thanks. So uh, we thought uh, that the best uh, that the best way how to do the workshop would be uh, would be with some real real document. Uh, so that that's why we we have prepared uh, something like a quick start guide, and we've updated the Fedora CI documentation, which is uh, related to TMT and um, the page. The page is this one. So unless you yeah, middle already. Share, share it. So yeah, yeah. So that's that's the one uh, dots federal project uh, CI slash slash TMT, and uh, so uh, we will be we will be following um, this uh, this document, and uh, we can use um, use it as uh, also to verify basically whether whether the documentation works as it as it as it should work. So if there is anything missing, we can we can fill fill the gaps and and see. So if you any anytime you see anything which is not uh, clear or or is confusing, please please let us know. And um, so I guess we could uh, we could start with the first steps. Uh, so Miro, uh, you are showing maybe I would be I would be showing uh, showing the uh, the details. So I I'll share my screen. Hopefully you can see it. And uh, so let's uh, let's see. Uh, so that's the page uh, for the test management tools. Uh, just some introduction uh, for, for the summary. And the section uh, first steps contains the very first step. So uh, I would recommend uh, all of you to uh, choose to install install TMT uh, if you want to do some uh, only some basic basic examples. Uh, you can you can install the like the core package. This is just the TMT. Uh, if you would like to try everything, uh, which is so far implemented and, and available, uh, you can try the TMT minus all, which which has all the dependencies and all, <clears throat> which brings all sub packages. Or uh, if you want just to experiment with, with the container or virtual, so you can you can choose uh, choose uh, some of these options. So um, please give it a try and let us know if it. If you are able to install it successfully, no problem with dependencies or anything else. Is everybody running yeah, Fedora? Can... Yeah, just sorry, Pavel. Sorry. Uh, you, you first. 
I wanted to ask everybody is running Fedora or some other operating system, so we know because, of course, the, the workshop is yeah. Uh, the, the DNF install is on the on Fedora <laughs> and also Central Eight. So just just curious, what uh, what Linux are you running? Fedora. For also, of course. Fedora. Great. Awesome. Awesome. Also, if you if you share your screen, well, we can help you if you encounter some trouble. Thank you. Okay. So so far so good. No problems with installation. Everything looks fine. Yeah, there's only three hundred and five uh, packages. Ah. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah I, 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 I have a question by the way. Uh, before starting, I also noticed that I install a virtual uh, virtualization and container. When I install all, it's also installing backgrounds and VBox and other stuff like that. What is the requirement of the Ruby? I don't understand that part. If there's any inside information, I would like to know about it. So why is it requirement? That's just, I just want to know about it. I, I think in the current uh, setup, the Vagrant should not be in the dependencies. Because the Vagrant we... was in the list, yes. Is, is there? Yeah, it's oh. there. I, can, I can actually show you on my screen. I, I installed Vagrant and an... I installed TMT all. Uh, let me just, uh, I... I, actually, I can actually just share it's... my screen. Currently, it shouldn't be there, uh, but uh, previously it was there because Vagrant uh, is uh, used for virtualization uh, in, in Vagrant plugin, uh, which mm -hmm. is currently not included. Uh, but in the future, I, I think we could include it again. Yeah, it's uh, mm -hmm. Interesting. But uh, ba basically, you can uh, type uh, uh, dash x and vagrant uh, or or dash x uh, ruby with the installation at it will omit the packages and you will cut off the whole tree so you can select even if uh, the yeah, it's I just in the to, requirements I, I, yeah. yeah i just i just want to to curiosity because when i saw uh, vagrant vbox and other stuff but i didn't understand the part of the what's the requirement of the ruby uh, oh, I, I know see. I know the Python packages, what's, why is it there? Uh, almost all of them. I'm not a master Ruby guy, so that's why I just would like to know about it. So thank you so much. It seems we have uh, so far uh, the in the spec, we, we have forgotten recommends Vagrant uh, because of that old uh, plugin, which, which which is not available currently. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah. so uh, instead of installing the all, you can uh, turn off the optional dependencies. Or just install the the two sub packages I mentioned, so it's mm -hmm. possible like to do just the TMP provision container and virtual, and that that should be definitely less dependencies. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Of course, thank you. Good point. Thanks, thanks for pointing that to us. We... I noted it down. I noted it down, so we will fix it. That's why we have the workshop to point yeah. the flags and show the trash them all. <laughs> super, super, super. Okay, so great. Um, so otherwise, if the installation is okay, uh, if not, please shout. Uh, and now, um, now you have a choice. So uh, what currently works? So TMT is definitely available for experimenting and uh, trying the stuff on your laptop. Uh, but uh, it is also possible to uh, to check uh, <clears throat> the testing or experiment with the testing uh, for the for, for the pull requests. And what we have currently working is integration with Packet and GitHub. So if you have any projects on GitHub, uh, you might prefer to, to clone or to just enter some of your repository of your, of your project and uh, play there. And um, this would um, this would allow you, allow you not only to experiment locally, but also to uh, to create a pull request and then check how Packet, how Packet works with that. Uh, Otherwise, and in the future, we also uh, uh, we also want to uh, enable um, this uh, Fedora CI uh, in the Fedora CI, so that should be av available also uh, for the for the RPM's namespace for the for the packages for the Fedora packages as well. Um, so I guess this is nothing nothing more to be to be said here, and we can we can start with some very first experiment. Um, um, with the with the smoke test actually what i was showing on the talk yesterday so um you could you could do something like this uh so enter your project and uh, and call their tmt in it uh with minus minus template mini 
and this is this is uh, this is a way how 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 the stuff is uh, uh, initialized and the base uh, the base uh, the base plan is created and you would see also that uh, there is one additional special directory created which which is called dot fmf and this is this is something similar like dot git uh, it marks the root of the metadata tree so uh so that's that's what the tmt in it does if you call it without template it just marks the it just marks the root of the tree but if you if you use the template you can you can directly start with playing you have this simple uh simple uh simple skeleton uh so here uh the the content uh, of the of the plan is uh summary and execute and the execute step basically defines the the script which should be which should be run when the test is when the test is run so uh i could uh i could follow maybe maybe with you in the same way and do it uh, once again what we had yesterday so uh i just create uh i just create um an empty directory i don't have any project here for now and i run tmt in it minus minus template or minus t is shorter and the mini so this should create uh it says it initializes the tree so it means here the tm uh, the the path in is initialized as the root of the tree it apply, applies the template and you 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 see that uh, there is a directory and there's a template and here uh if you have uh, your application and it has some something i don't know bash minus minus version or something like that you can you can uh, just make a super simple smoke test here as as the first thing uh, as, as the first thing to experiment with and i have a tiny question uh, when we try to use a uh, command line dash uh, dash dash version, I was also wondering, forgot to ask about it. So how would it understand it's a pass test or fail test? So it has to just need to know this command is exist. And but what if I do a bash just one minus and just type the wrong argument, but command is there, is it still going to pass or fail? Because if you just show the help menu, TMT is going to think this command is exist, so it's just going to show me the result. So is it affecting the test or it's just going to be failed because the command is failed? Uh, yeah, so so the, the command, uh, like the, the decision whether like the test passed or failed is, is done based on the exit code from the command. So if, if like if the command is not found, I think it should be reported an error. And uh, if you're interested, like uh, for the exit codes, uh, the, you can do man TMT to see the manual. And there is a section which describes the different exit codes which we have. And so from the TMT itself, uh, zero means that everything went well. At least one test passed. So there was something and there was no fail, no error. One means that there was a fail and uh if you got uh, two it means that there are some some errors so in this case i think um if you place there a command which does not exist it would it, it should give you an error if it uh, successfully finishes it uh, returns zero and it's uh it it's handled as a pass and otherwise it's handled as a, as a fail okay thank you mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, so actually, let's let's try it here. Uh, I I want to make it a little bit faster. So this this very very simple smoke test. Uh, let's uh, say uh, we will be running in container. So uh, provision container by by default the latest Fedora. So if I uh, if I run it in like this, it would be TMT help uh, TMT run. Minus Fedora's maybe. So here you see it takes the container, it takes the Fedora, and it it, it passes. I have a, a modified uh, container so that I have a TMT installed there, so it works. But if there was something uh, wrong, some non-existent command, uh, you would see that there uh, there is just uh, it reports an error. So you see error. Uh, also, as I mentioned yesterday, minus V mount uh, can be applied multiple times so uh, in order to see more details you could do this 
and here you can also see like the uh, the, the problem what, what was the problem like no search for direct directory and if we do this uh, false I was running running false uh, it should report a failing test ah false not as a boolean for yaml but as a uh, as a string so this this should run the false and it says one test failed yeah so, so it means and if the return, return code is one it is failed other return codes are recognized as errors if i understand better. yes yes mm -hmm. and we uh, so far uh, we uh, we support like like this simple shell scripts or another way is to execute uh, tests as beakerlib uh, i'm not sure whether you uh, does any one of you met beakerlib is it no uh, no no, no. So it's it's a shell, shell testing library which which we are using heavily in, in Red Hat, and because we have many tests written in that, we want to support that uh, out of the box. So, and and the Beakerlib test, uh, I, I will give some example a little bit later. Uh, it reports like the errors in a in a journal, and then the journal is is, is checked for for the for the result. So it it does not only take the exit code, but it it checks also the, the journal. But Beakerlib is not mandatory. You can write shell test as well. Yes, both 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 are possible. Yeah, and I would just add that uh, these are all basically some kind of uh, modules to TMT, so uh, or plugins. So it is possible to extend in the future. Also TMT with other test frameworks in case somebody would be interested. Just, just that. Mm -hmm. So what what about the smoke test? Uh, does it work for you? Are you able to run in a container or in a VM? I was trying to run it in container. I'm getting some permission error because I ran it wrongly in uh, root. I just changed it to user mode. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm trying to be, uh, there is some command line issue. I don't know yet, so I'm just checking out. It, let me just check it one more time. If I can find the error, I will just show my screen and get some tiny help to okay. see this, how does it work. Because I would mm -hmm. like to do some extended tests as well on my own other Python project, I would like to know. So we're gonna mm -hmm. extend it over on it. So let me just check it out again. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm running it on a toolbox, so I think it wouldn't work because probably it tries to run a virtual machine, so mm -hmm. it wouldn't work within the toolbox, I guess. Yeah, yeah I believe to make it faster is basically provision how container, I believe so, because downloading a container is faster than the virtual machine because virtual machines require 10 gig stuff and creating and pipe provision stuff and installing. Yes. Yes. Experimenting with container is much much more faster. So. Uh, if can you I see, want, can yeah. I see the container thing you start to write on? Just a tiny example, if this, if this is yes. possible. Uh, thank you. Mm -hmm. so let me just check it one more time. Did any error I made it? Yeah. That's exactly what I did. I'm I'm sharing my screen now, so you can see how I did run the test mm -hmm. in container. Yeah, yeah, so, sure, yeah. sure. Let me just let me check it again. Okay, I just did that. That's true. Uh, is there any uh, escape character issue, like intent issue, or is it free? Like some YAML file, some file temp, some intentation problem, like Python? Is it the same rules apply in here? I think YAML does not allow the tabs, so it must be spaces. If I, yeah. if I, yeah, if no, I, no, 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 what about this FMP for this TMT? Is, is it is which one? Uh, sorry, I'm not sure about the question. What? Uh, let me just show the error then. I think that's going to be easier to mm -hmm. be express it. Yeah, it's a YAML syntax, yeah, I think, yeah. Uh, how can I share my screen? Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Uh, I think I cannot share my screen, or I I, I don't know how is it done. It's on the bottom. At the bottom, there is an icon. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, sorry, sorry. No, yeah. dummy me. So thank you. Mm -hmm. and this is this error I'm getting, and this is the basic stuff I wrote. So is it tab error? I believe so. Uh, okay. Yaml yeah. syntax fail to parse. Yeah, awesome. that's the tab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just uh, handle it in my own uh, 
far yet, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just, uh, just use when, spaces. When you're debugging, you can you can run it on command line as well. Uh, everything that's in uh, the FMF files uh, has an uh, command line alternative, so you can do both. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just want to know the thin text the file to try to be understand is it different or YAML? So that's what I would like to know. So thanks. Mm -hmm. So if you also also if you need any any time like for, for one of those steps. Yeah, yeah. When I just you are, it, you're, not, you're not sure about the syntax. Uh, I'm just pasting in the chat the TMT run provision minus minus how container minus minus help. It does not show only the options available but, but at the top of the help there is usually or i believe not uh, almost uh, every time there's an example of the config so uh, when you're not sure about like uh, how the how the step can be configured in the plan you can you can use this this one to get an example that should be useful um, uh, I would just like to add to Stefanos. If you are uh, Stefano, if you are uh, doing uh, running uh, Fedora toolbox, I guess that is already a container. So if you are running TMT directly in that container, I would, uh, yeah, I, I think you will need to run it in local provisioner. So we have a local provisioner that runs stuff on your local host. So if you are already in toolbox, what is a container? You can't run yeah. container in container, I guess, and also no VM in that uh, in toolbox. So I guess uh, the how local is yeah. what you want. So well, you can actually, try that. If you don't want to uh, run uh, like in toolbox uh, because it shares your home folders, etc., uh, you can also use our uh, uh, containers. We have created containers with TMT, so you can run directly the container with, with uh, shared. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, in Podman. Okay, Basically, you. You you can you can uh, use those containers. Let let me share those. Uh, we have containers with bundle TMT. So instead of instead of installing TMT on your local host, you can run basically that container. Yeah. That it's just I'm using silver blue, so I don't want to overlay the old sure. TMT on top or the containers. You know, it's better if I get the container to run with Podman. Okay. Uh, we can add pages, right? Or just uh, you know, one, one line by or just comma, comma, comma. What, what was the question? Yeah, sorry. Uh, no, I was just wondering uh, when you type, when we add package uh, mm -hmm. under the provision, we can say just comma or one package uh, for per line. Ah, so as it's, it should be a list, a list of packages, and list in YAML is written as a square bracket and then separated by commas, I think. Or you okay. can make a like bu bullet list, like a, like a bullet list, so. Yeah, same rules apply. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay, thank you, Pavel. Uh, I may have a question, I have a question. Basically, the issue I'm, I'm facing right now is that when I have, for example, I'm using TMT in packet, as I, far as I understand it, it will install the library or the project in the machine, which will run the test. And then I can do the smoke test without any switching to Python power or anything. My question is, am I able to do this somehow easily with the TMT directly, or should I create a other plan for the for the packet configuration than for my local testing? Because my smoke test is basically Python free minus C import my library. Okay, that's basically my my smoke test. And mm -hmm. to be able to do this, I have to set Python path or better test it on in installed system, which means I have to uh, like install it to the container. I can do that in a prepare phase. That's not the problem. But uh, uh, when I'm using packet, it will do this uh, for me automatically as far as I may, uh, as I can tell. Maybe I'm wrong yes. in this. Yeah. So am I able to create the plan the same way 
it would the, the one plan for both solutions or i have to create one plan for packet which will use this installed system installed solution and second plan for with the python path uh, which will use my source code uh, like uh, currently the uh, the most feasible thing i see is uh, have, have a plan without the installation of the package and then when you run locally on your machine uh, you add that prepared plugin directly on the command line that installs your package so that seems like a, for me a feasible solution because like currently in packet basically we execute all plans that are available there so you can't even currently select which plan would you like to run so we don't have that possibility there uh, this, this is it's possible you disable some plan because uh, there is an attribute called uh, right. called artifact and you can you can say that you don't want to run this plan for pull request forgot, forgot about that so, uh, yeah, uh, that's that's something uh, we are we are using uh, for, for some of the plans because uh, the packet integration is done via Cruncher, which is a little bit uh, different than TMT. So there are some 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 features are there uh, a bit different, but we are heading like to have uh, uh, completely uh, even in the with the packet integration, so the TMT would be run there, so uh, you would have completely the same experience. And you would not, uh, you would not have to think about like whether uh, or do it in a different way to, uh, on your laptop. We, we we are heading to towards to have like the very same uh, experience, and even in the CI, so the tests are run in the same way. And if there is a problem, so then you can easily re reproduce locally with the same config, ideally. The, but, but the problem will stay still the same, uh, like in in these terms, because like a packet builds a copper build, a custom copper build that uh, basically packet like has information about it, which which copper repository was it. So he he still can't create uh, like a generic kind of FMF which will install some copper build, right? It's the copper build still still need to be installed somehow, uh, like from from that system that is like executing those FMF tests for packet. Right, so mm -hmm. for the for the local testing, I don't want to uh, basically do the copper build or use the copper build because it will be a lot slower, and you will need to make it fast. So, so I'm thinking more about just uh, set up by install or something like that, just to directly install to the container. When it will be container, not install. local system. Mm -hmm. you, you can install the copper build. So, if you have copper build set up in your repo. Uh, and or for your pull requests, you can like type uh, prepare uh, how install and then the copper repo, right? Was, was the... Yeah, I, I saw that that's great, great thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, one, one note about it, it could be interesting to have, be, to have an ability to give a custom repo in general, because for, for our tests, we are using for Anaconda. We basically have a fallback repository because from time to time there's some dependency which we can we can't really uh, switch easily. So we will basically replace this dependency by other repository. So maybe it could be improvement for future. Yeah, yeah, good idea. So, so uh, the idea is to have a uh, ability to select uh, just custom uh, whatever whatever arbitrary uh, repository. To fetch packages from it could be uh, just just a link uh, a http link for the repository without any other support and shows you their priority or we can yeah. always use ansible right that's true if that's you, true if, if, yeah. if there's a co complex thing you want to do yeah it's kind of good point thanks mm -hmm. i have another question uh okay. i know we can use ansible git so much other possibilities, or we can use Podman itself to do this a possibility. But I would like to know this if it is possible. Can we send our files or project files into the TMT? Uh, like there is a, some command line we know we all know about it probably. Uh, send files into the container or the virtual machine. Can we do this with TMT? Is there any specific command for that, in, or any uh, how do I say spec in in, in TMT file any specification for this? Or we can just use other Ansible, Docker, whatever we way we using it, or Podman. So if you if you need some files uh, from from your repository, uh, the way how it works um, uh, is that um, for each uh, run and there is a uh, there is a created the temporary directory with all the data which are which are necessary, and there you can uh, then you can uh, there you can uh, find. Uh, 
everything uh, also from the, from the repository, uh, whereas the metadata tree. So if you need any file from the from that um, from that location, it's uh, always present and or always available. Uh, it's in the case of container, it's volume mounted, so it's available uh, directly. And on uh. if it's a virtual machine, then you have the files there uh, already already present. So you yeah, can I'm access sure them. You, you should be able to access them. Yeah. Pavel, so show show us. So in container, we have a volume method, which is we use it already and access it directly and also put extra files if it is necessary. So TMT will handle that for me. Um, virtual and other ways is the other ways basically. So, okay, cool. So in container, it's basically doing what I want to do. Automatically sending files, present date and just change it if it is necessary. Cool, 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 cool. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Basically, the discover step is is used to prepare everything for the testing. So discover tests yeah. uh, to find out find out what will be run to fetch tests, fetch fetch remote repositories locally, and when it, when it's ready, then make sure uh, or we have we have a method for for the provision to make sure that the files uh, which are in the in the run directory that they are synchronized to the guest to the system on the test. So either volume mounted or copied. So anything which you prepare or discover during the discover step uh, should be should be ready. Okay, so uh, basically put the files over there if it is like virtual or network mounts or something in Podman or the discover as you can uh, describe it. So okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. uh, do, do we? Uh, and I was checking the GitHub repository, for example, part, and also checking the man file. For this scenario, is there any pre, pre, predefined example it exists, or should I make it myself? Uh, maybe it's going to be a good, I mean, if, if it is there, it's going to be a good start. If it is not, no problem. I can find it myself and try to be tinkering and learn it. It will be, mm -hmm. will be better too, as well. Uh, I'm thinking uh, basically, I can let's share my screen again. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, if I go, oh, just write it. Um, uh, in the plans directory of, of TMP, there are some, some examples, and you can, for example, the helps plan is something. Uh, he uh, basically this this shows uh, how how you can also like uh, define the tests only in the plan. And uh, for example, here, uh, this third test, uh, this is uh, called Help Smoke. Uh, it, it resides in this directory under tests. There is a directory shell. And in that, in that directory, there's, there's the test. So uh, here you see you, you don't need to do anything, uh, basically. But uh, the test will be run on the, on the, on the guest. And all the files would be, should be available. available. Awesome, thank you. Mm -hmm. To note, I'm I'm looking into into your documentation online, and on the artifacts there's a status idea. So maybe if uh, it's already, that's the reason why I thought it's not already it's not implemented yet. So. Mm -hmm, it's, mm -hmm. Noting yeah, it should be documented better because it's available. So if you look at the TMT, uh, TMT run, uh, <laughs> prepare the help, and it should be there. Prepare uh, how, yeah. how install minus minus help. Yeah, so that is available. What is available? We have a command line. But uh, the artifact, the artifact part in the in the spec, I see. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's <clears throat> in the plans, and it's. Uh, I think, yeah, <laughs> the thing is that Cruncher supports this already because we 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 wanted to disable some of the uh, some of the values uh, some of the plans, but uh, this is like from the point of view of of TMT because TMT currently only I think shows shows the value but is would not be uh, it doesn't have any option for filtering by artifact or something like that but cruncher like in packet this already works so that might be confusing yeah let's 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 make a note let's make a note about that and uh, we can improve the documentation to make uh, to make this uh, to make this clear so miro are you adding this yeah i'm adding it and we will still like i, I will migrate cruncher to tmt so these things are 
basically mm -hmm. go it will be the best uh by the way i sent request to getting see the documentation uh if somebody can accept it it will be nice to see it as well uh yeah so the documentation is it, is it, it's private fine but i didn't see it i, I sent the request access but didn't see it so i cannot see it you mean the document google google document yeah yeah google document yeah i can yeah, see there's it. uh it's it's the last one i've uh, well, sent okay. uh, I just it should be public yeah yeah Oh, okay. 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 Thank uh, you. This this last one. This is the this is this should be the public one. So you should. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, I, see it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I there... see it. I see it. I see it. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Um, one more point to the documentation. There's no install in the uh, prepare steps. Between steps, prepare have only Ansible and shell. I was surprised I that when I saw it yesterday used that it's that simple and I wasn't able to find it yet. <laughs> so that's the reason, I guess. It's, the, it's, the, it's probably in the, in the prepare, in the prepare part for the prepare stuff. It's there when I, when I type minus minus help for the install, but I, but ah. it's not in the documentation. Noted. Okay. Thank you. No. So this, so this is, this is that place, right? Prepare and then we have we have documented Ansible and shell. Uh, shell yeah. is basically call, calling the DNF install, so maybe changing that to be to like note that install should be used instead of this. Mm -hmm. Thanks, thanks for the feedback. Yeah, you are gathering issues. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <clears throat> so I would try with Podman, but uh, I'm getting a, a C Linux uh, issue. Fail to set the uh, file label on var on blah blah blah. Uh, mm. Cache, mm. Silver blue issues. So, Sorry, yeah, not blue, 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 silver blue. blue. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, cross off the silver blue. Sometime. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, I tried about... at least. So I'll have but... a look better later, maybe to see if there's because something. I, I, the I, because I, I tested in the same test with some other stuff. It's working. It's most likely 99% silver. Yeah, no, of course. I mean, it's. Uh, it's I've yeah. been so testing it's... that on I'm... silver blue, and it works for me actually. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Can Can you show me what doesn't work yeah. for you? Can you show the screen so we can see? Uh, let's try to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can copy and paste as well. I'll show. No, no, you can uh... share your screen with the button. Yeah, on the bottom there is a screen uh, yeah. icon, and you should oh, be able okay. to... next next to microphone. Next to microphone, yeah, on the right side. Select window, entire screen. Uh, allow. Can you see it? Hopefully. Um. Okay. Not, yet. It's not okay. yet. And okay. are you, we can still see you. You should you should reselect again. I believe it doesn't. I think it doesn't uh, do the action. You hit the apply. So yeah, you select the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember the extra byte button, maybe. But then it says Firefox cannot allow permanent access oh. to screen. Allow. <laughs> I can't uh, allow. Do you see anything? Could no. you switch or use Chromium or Chrome browser for these purposes? No, no thanks. <laughs> hey, <it's> a... <laughs> no. Yeah, I was uh, I'm not Chrome. interested. Yeah, uh, hoping. it's hoping. Uh, it, are... it works. For me, Chrome and, and Firefox. Yeah, I, so I actually tried with need... Firefox as well, so it's working. It's... Hmm. You, you just need to select the screen you want to share, uh, or yeah, entire think, screen, uh... and then you click Allow. Yeah, but, but I think I had some troubles with Wayland. Sure uh, I think there are some extra permissions needed. It's, like it to... works for me in but Wayland like as well. Their screen Allow. <laughs> bam, bam, nothing. Just, I can show you like this if you want, but uh, it doesn't work. I don't know why. It's weird. Uh, where is it again? So down here, right? Wow, this is so hands-on screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even okay. if I remember this decision, is it doesn't even let me do that. But anyway, you cannot remember. It. You cannot remember. You cannot remember. Not remember. I don't know why. Uh, can you see it? By the way, yeah, you see it. Yeah. In default, uh, Fedora yeah, Silver Blue, yeah. it wants me to like select uh, which display I want to share. Yeah, so, but I have only mm -hmm. one display, so it's, yeah, it it wants 
it really needs me to select the display I want to share uh, explicitly. Uh, it's some uh, GNOME GUI, so ah, maybe, okay, um, maybe because I'm using Sway. Okay, in Sway, uh, it works for me in Chrome. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no, okay. Too many combinations. <laughs> so uh, I mean, anyway, I'm having a note that we should. Uh, I'm having a note that we should test more silver blue and document a little bit how to use TMT on silver blue because that is not uh, like we didn't even try, right? <laughs> so adding a note at least, so we so we yeah. find a good right. way for uh, silver blue user. I, I'm running silver blue on one of my laptops, so I, I can like do it now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know why then. So Selenix issue. So you, maybe you can paste it. Uh, so this is the command I'm using. Actually, I can try. I can even do this. So this is from the okay. Git repository. Okay. Fail to set file label on the return trip. It's on the book cache. Cache operation permitted. But the thing is, in the journal, there's nothing. When I mm -hmm. it just says the podman succeeded, but there's nothing else. So, so this is the only line that comes up when I follow the journal. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. Podman succeeded. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everything is fine. <laughs> And I see there is the Z flag, uh, so it, you know it should work with say, Linux, but or is mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. I don't know something specific to my machine, I guess I don't know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I, I guess using toolbox in isolated Bakerlib environment, if this is the case, would be nice. Just start the toolbox and go. <laughs> So what about like for playing? Uh, what about starting uh, just like a container and running, running there uh, TMT with provision local? You can you can use that one for for playing at least at least for today. If we don't find any better solution, I'll let you guys uh, because at five I'm going to follow a different uh, talk, so I'm not going to waste your time. It's more productive if you maybe focus on the other guys. Okay. Okay. And I'll have a look uh, after or tomorrow myself. And I'll let you know mm -hmm. in case. I know now the where the documentation is and I know where the GitHub re repo is for uh, the Podman image. Mm -hmm. So I can mm -hmm. follow up uh, myself in case. But sorry, I, I wasted your time. <laughs> Yeah, never mind, never mind. That's uh, what happens. I'm, I'm running TMT. It's it's uh, like in in silver blue in uh, the toolbox uh -huh. uh, on local, and okay. it works fine. So there must uh, be something in in, in Podman. It also works for me. I can try the virtualization or or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, virtualization is an issue uh, that I know of, but well, actually, I Okay, um, so um, maybe maybe we can we can uh, continue uh, with others. So for uh, for you, uh, Yeezy and Onural, you it, it works like running running uh, tests works fine, and your smoke seems to be seems to be okay. Yeah, yeah I was just uh, tinkering and trying to add different scenarios, and if it is come up any error, also checking the documentation. So if I found anything or come to my mind, I will just ask it, or if there's any error, I will also point it out there, so yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Super, fine. Good. Um, oh, maybe maybe a question, so uh, would you would you like to, um, are you working on some GitHub project and you would like to enable it with, with Packet and try try uh, enabling the functionality with, with the pull request testing? or? Are you okay, or you, is it enough for you with this uh, local experimenting on your laptop? Uh, I have a project I'm just checking out with 
that is if that is okay uh, i will try to implement it and try to do some testing but i didn't write testing all yet maybe i can just try to some couple exemplary testing purposes so i can just implement tmt with my python project and just you know uh go on with that so let me, i'm just checking the mm -hmm. checking this one also try to understand mm -hmm. tmt functionality a little bit of question i have so i, I let you know i let mm -hmm. you know yeah in the meantime, okay, if, this, 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 if we continue, I would like to know about the Baker Leap and other stuff as well. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine, fine, good. And for you, Irko? I have one smaller project which I'm trying to uh, enable TMT for that. And I would like to use that in gating uh, in the same way as for, uh, as for a packet, which is already uh, enabled there. Mm -hmm. And right, it's right. so for for packet it's already enabled. Uh, my project is already enabled. Uh, uh, like packet is enabled on the project. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But without tests. Mm -hmm. So it's. I I have I have tests like the the um, the. General one, I mean, when you don't specify the tests there, it will do for a smoke test for you. Basically, it will install install the package from the yeah. copy repository. So I'm using that right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, nice, good. Um, so that's, that's that's very good because extending extending it's very very easy. Uh, testing farm uh, on the package package dev testing farm. There is documentation where you can. You can have a look. I'm just pasting in the chat. Uh, uh, in the chat, there is an example of what what you should add to the dot packet YAML config to make this uh, to enable tests as well. And that's basically it. So if if you have packet already working for, for that project, that will be very very easy for you. Uh, so it's it's just adding those uh, four four lines or or something, and that uh, what what we are doing what we are doing today here. Yeah, and it will take my plans, I guess, and execute them. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, the cruncher does not have like uh, full TMT uh, functionality because because it, it's a proof of concept which which we are using for some time, but we want to substitute it with TMT so that we have on par like the the, the identical. But uh, the the most common uh, scenarios should be should be covered like running a script. Or running tests detected from by by FMF and that stuff. Yeah, I will, do, okay. I will do my best to upgrade that so there is no no issue like this anymore. We will get rid of Cruncher. So therefore, yeah, it, was, it mm -hmm. is good, not a good service, but it's yeah, it, it cannot keep up with the TMP features. So it will be just yeah, using yeah. TMP. Okay, so uh, maybe uh, maybe I could now uh, continue with with going through uh, going through the uh, the quick start guide. Uh, just okay. sorry, just one question. Okay. I can't find it anywhere. Yep. How can I specify plan uh, to be run? I have uh, multiple plans, and I want okay. to test just one. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a command called plan plan minus minus name. It's, uh, it's a sub yeah command. minus minus name. Okay, thanks. Plan the name. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, so running test seems to be okay, and uh, then uh, I just remind from from yesterday that those uh, if you if you do all right, this is uh, if you do empty run minus minus help you see the uh, the steps which are uh, available, and here here you can see also the the additional subcommands. And that one is called plans uh, for selecting plans and tests for selecting tests. And uh, one more one more additional is login, which, which can be used to log in to the guest or container to do some investigation or additional preparation and such stuff. So it's, it's available, available here. And uh, important thing to understand, uh, not sure whether you remember from yesterday, but uh, if you specify some uh, some step on the command line. So if you run TMT around discover, it means that it will do only the that selected step. 
but if you want to modify some step you always have to uh, to say tmt run minus minus all so that all plans uh, so that all steps are executed so this is this is what what what's also also shown here so for the discover uh, to discover tests to show what will be run uh, that could be this could be done so I'll stop it here now and um, then for the provisioning uh, provisioning options are there any questions or or like this these methods are quite clear to you so you just uh, if you want to run you and uh, like run all steps and modify some you do just provision minus minus how local minus minus how container or minus how virtual and it, it just selects this method and uh that's that's basically about it uh, are there any questions for like this provisioning methods yeah one one question uh is there a possible possibility to specify more multiple containers i mean ideally something like fedora devil which is in packet which will basically automatically you test it on all the fedoras in development are supported Mm -hmm. So far, we have uh, we have support only for one this provision guest uh, for testing, but um, I was checking and and I think we definitely will come to that that we and and the code is ready or it's prepared for that uh, to be to be able to have like multiple guests or multiple multiple environments for testing. So so for now not for now there is just one. Yeah. But we can. But we can do uh, probably create a multiple plans, just change the container, but same old test, run on multiple of them. I think would be some sort of a workaround, I believe so, in multiple different containers. This is definitely, yeah, this is definitely definitely possible, and you can uh, you can use uh, make use of the inheritance uh, FMF inheritance, so that you can have like the the settings uh, are are the same, like you can have like complex prepare preparation or something like that. But then you then then you do hierarchy for this. This is actually this is an interesting question. I can I can show you yeah, sure. uh, how how this could work, how this could work. So I, I will go with this mini uh, mini example. I still have it here. So it could look like uh, it could look like this. Uh, you would have. Um, uh provision okay so so there could be some preparation or interesting prepare i don't know how install package as packages tmp and we will do tmp so, okay and now you you can do uh like uh virtual hierarchy and here you say uh provision uh provision uh, uh container and image uh, Fedora Fedora 31. Uh, oh, okay, Fedora. Oh, right, so this is right. <clears throat> and you do uh, this second time here, uh, and we do like stable. Let's say stable, and that would be Fedora latest. Let's say latest. Latest. Um, and this uh, this this means that if you do TMT, it would say that you have two plans, and they they both inherit inherit these common values, and then uh, these this is one child and this is second child, and they change some of the some of the values. So now a TMT plan show if you if you if you give it like that. You would see that's the basic small test, the preparation, everything is the same, but the only thing which is which is different is is the image. And if I if I run if I run the plans, it should it should work. Let's see. So it chooses Fedora 32, it runs, it, and then it chooses Fedora Rawhide, which is Fedora 33 here. So in this way, in this way, you can. You can use the inheritance and test the uh, against against. That basically solved the most of the problem, I believe. So yeah, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, the inheritance is quite a nice feature because uh, it prevents unnecessary duplication. And uh, after some playing with it, I I I even realized that uh, it's possible to create symlinks. So uh, you might you might notice. Uh, I think it's fetching the raw eye because I have. Oh no no, it's metadata. Metadata are slow, so I just create a new terminal here. 
Uh, you might have noticed that uh, mm, if I say TMT plans list uh, for, for in the TMT report, there is like uh, quite many plans uh, in the TMT report itself, but they are repeated. So you see like the plans actually are only these uh, six basic core hubs install smog and unit. And these are uh, only uh, iterations against different uh, provision methods because we want to be sure that the tests work uh, on uh, when connecting in container in virtual environment. And uh, so this is this is using symlinking. So if you if you check the, like how it how it looks here, uh, you would see that under under the try uh, directory, uh, for example, try uh, I don't know try container. Uh, you would you would have uh, you would have sim links to the plans which are relevant for for testing in container, and uh, here uh, is uh, the common main uh, main main configuration which is inherited, and here uh, inside the container directory, I'm overriding the provision with container, and uh, so this is. Also, and I'm also modifying uh, the core, the core plan, so that it filters only container-related tests. Because uh, in containers, for example, there are documentation. There is not not all the documentation, like the main pages are stripped or they are not installed. So uh, even such hacks are are possible. Yeah. Fine. Uh, any other question to the provisioning um, uh, provisioning step? So if not, uh, we can swiftly go through the prepare. Uh, we've touched it already uh, multiple times. So just to summarize, uh, install is one of the plugins which allows to install RPM packages either from repository or local from from locally locally built. Uh, um, maybe I can yeah, I can share. So here we see the test finished well, and uh, maybe one thing I can show you and or remind from yesterday. In the plans, what what I have here is the main, which is the the parent, the, the shared config, and what I'm using quite quite frequently when I make RPMs, I I do this. So I. I'm um, override like the default, or I'm adding this this prepare prepare method uh, and installing the uh, the the RPMs, which which I have just just freshly built. So that's uh, uh, and this is this is installing all the all the RPMs from the directory. Okay. Um, so the other installation methods, Ansible or shell arbitrary commands. Are there any questions for the preparation? Yeah, and do do I have uh, my Git repository in the prepare step, like in the container or where I'm using the provisioning? Yes, so uh, I will show you how 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 it works with the uh, with the uh, with the uh, with the uh, run directory. So let's see. Uh, so I would do tmt run. Uh, I'm just checking. Uh, hello. Okay, so I'm running for now lo locally, and I would do just TMT run plan name uh, smoke. So plan smoke, and so what you what you see here is the like first line which appears here. This is the ID of the run, and this is basically name of the directory uh, where uh, for this run everything which is needed is stored. So if you go there. You can see uh, what uh, everything which which is like temporal information which TMT uses, and there uh, you can also see uh, oh, probably too much uh, You can also see that there is a plan smoke directory, and under it uh, you have uh, every step has each uh, has its own subdirectory, and uh, there are the information which uh, which it stores. So, for example, the discover step. If I go there, it's plan smoke. So that's the plan and the discover step. Uh, you would go there and you would see uh, what's available. Let's see. We have here. Okay. Minus D maybe. 
Uh, so uh, the discover step uh, here you see tests YAML which, which, which lists like uh, the information of tests which will be run and then uh, then there is um, the directory before there might be multiple discover configurations so the default is default one and here in the tests you would see like the contents uh, of the git repository so you have it av available in the discover step and uh, so that uh, uh, the tests have everything they need for, for the execution. And uh, the run directory will be accessible on the guest. So you have there everything which, uh, which you would uh, need for, for the testing, uh, if that uh, responds to your question. Yeah, I, um, I'm, uh, I, I, I'm trying to do what I do right now is basically to install my package. Uh, by using pip, pip install, mm -hmm. and when I did uh, in the prepare step, I did pip install uh, dot. Then uh, it tells me that there's no nothing to install. So I guess it's in some subfolder, and I'm not in the current working directory. Like the current working directory is not git repo, but maybe there I'm doing some other uh, other like uh, I have some other issue. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I'm just asking where the prepare is yeah. uh, placed by default, like in the container, inside of the container. Uh, I, I see. I understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the prepare, uh, the prepare actions uh, are run uh, under under. I think the default come. Uh, uh, how is it called? Current working directory for the prepare is uh, is the prepare. So, uh, or we should maybe. Mm. I would I would say like by default you would be here in, in the prepare. Uh, let's let's see. We can we can we can we can check it. And uh, what will what will it show? So if we. Uh, I, I, I wonder if I can access my sources in the prepare stage. If it's if yeah, they it are there, be, it should be accessible. Uh, let's see the common. What's it? What's the current directory? Mira, do you know <clears throat> what we have in the prepare step? No, let's see. We need test. Uh, you can also log in after basically the testing. You can log into the machine so you can investigate. Also, you can take a look in. Ah, good idea. Yeah, might, uh, you might. Uh huh. Uh, so, what do we do this? My prepare activity. <clears throat> Team Tiran. Team Tiran. <coughs> the prepare found. Okay. So for the prepare step, provision prepare. Yeah, I also, so, so I was right. So uh, the place where you are is in the, in the working directory under prepare. Yeah, for under prepare. For each step, it even says a work there. So we know which work there you are in. If, mm -hmm. if you enable, Verbose enough, you, you can see. Where is, where is the volume? Because the, the resources are volume mounted in, right? So where is that? Where is the volume mount scene? Mm -hmm. hey. So uh, you 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 would be uh, able to uh, to access the, <laughs> but that's that's a question. Yeah, but you you might. Uh... So as as Miro as Miro said, uh, what you can what you can do to to investigate uh, is if you let's say we we do only the latest now. Uh, what you could do is uh, run. Let's do it like this, and you can say login. Uh, and I guess it's a step prepared. 
So in this way, <clears throat> we should get a login there. And here you see. So in this in this way, you can you can do like in the in the prepare step to get a get a shell session. And here you see like where you are and what happens there and what's available. And uh, so and it's prepared in the default. It's empty. So you would go to discover default, discover default and uh, and tests, and there's there's the Git repo. <clears throat> uh, I think so. So, uh, so if you use as a workaround for now, I think that that should work for you. Uh, then you can that you can uh, you can access it in this way, like this this uh, relative path. Yeah, but we could we should probably find some better way. Because uh, if you if you would do yeah yeah. yeah. When when running tests, uh, it you automatically get get your in the in the test repo and all, all the sources and all the script should be available. But in the prepare and the during the prepare step, you're in the in a different in a different place. So that's why. Yeah. That's why. I'm I, it I down. guess. I. Yep. Sorry. Yeah. Then I'm noting it down as an issue because it feels like it's not very user friendly. That it's not available, right? It should work. So I'm not. Yeah. It my down. my question is. When when I have like everything prepared via packets, which actually should uh, turn your sources into into the package you're you're going to test. Do you need sources for the tests to prepare as well to prepare the test? Um. Okay. Uh for packet, I'm thinking it more like a, the integration test in a way uh, from the from the point of view that uh, the packet will install the install my package and I will run the tests on the install package, which is which is great thing which I am not able to do easily right now, and I want to use that uh, for it. But uh, for local run. I'm thinking about the similar scenario, but I guess much better will be to just set the Python path and test the, do the small text, small test from, from the Python path. On the other hand, I guess there's no reason to do that because the small tests really don't give me any value because the files, I will just basically uh, check that the module is there means the files there. And uh, it will also be done by my uh, unit test. So I guess the smoke test is really more sensible for the integration test, where it's installed automatically by the by, by the package. So I guess I will I will I will leave this leave this test out because I don't think it give me a real value in this case. If if, if you uh, like have everything set up with packets, you can even run packet locally. So. It should do everything you need, and then on top of that, you can run TMT with the artifact. That's packet so, tests or something like that, and it will it will packet build maybe. Packet build. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I, think, I, th build. I think it's built. Ah, okay, that's interesting. I I didn't know that I can run it from the from the command line. I thought it has to be by the service. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. That's the better solution, definitely. Uh, and the smoke test, I'm thinking if I should have the test, like the smoke test for packet, but not to use it locally, I guess it will be the best solution. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. So that would be about, about the prepare step, I think, um, all that we have so far. Uh, and now here is uh, oh oh uh, I've copied it also here. So to enable in packet for you, Irka, uh, if you if you have tried this is this is basically what you need to add to the dot packet YAML config, and uh, it should it should enable the testing as well, and then you would see so how how it looks like uh, for those who haven't seen yet. So for example, TMT 
on some last pull request. What do we have? The technical libraries from recommend as well. So at the at the at the bottom, the bottom you would see, you would see how it how it looks like. Uh, here are results for for individual individual uh, Federas, uh, and because we have here uh, like Fedora all, it means that all uh, rawhide and all supported Federas will be will be tested in packet, and and the results then could be uh, some detailed results can be uh, seen here. Uh, but it's a little bit too old. So, and if you click on the artifacts there, there you would see, there you would see some, uh, some, uh, some details here in the execute log. Okay. I wonder what packet is doing with the provisioning because I guess it does not support all the provisioning, uh, all the provisioning uh, types. I think so far it, it just ignores it, right? Yeah. So Middle aura? Yeah. So what we will do there with their uh, like packet that in that system that runs it runs in actually in containers. So we and it's it's a British container, so we can spin up a VM. So the only supported uh, so only supported provisioning method there will be virtual machine. So we get a virtual machine uh, spin up there, and we will use we'll force provision how virtual there. But currently, it's uh, like a different code. But it does the same thing as TMT provision how virtual. So once we switch to TMT, we will be forcing that uh, provisioning method there. Even though we will have container in the test, it will force virtual. So that's mm -hmm. how it will. And that's a good good question. So so even for for the federal CI and and such stuff like, basically the provisioning part would be overridden always, right? Or should we consider no, like no, no. adding? For Adding. Yeah, like later on when we will have the future parity, later on when we will have the future parity with the, of everything we need, then also container container tests will work as like. So if you have if you have how virtual for one plan, how a container in the other plan, uh, it will run as as you wish. But uh, for the start, we will force virtual. It's mm -hmm. okay. Uh, yeah. Um, may I set the artifact to basically not run it locally? I mean, artifact pull request, I guess it should do that. Uh, may I set it for a whole plan? Is it possible? Mm -hmm. Or it's just for some part of the plan? So In, in general, uh... I want to disable running this plan out of, outside of the pull request, which means the mouse smoke tests. Mm -hmm. So uh, here, here it is. How uh, how it uh, how it should work. Plants and and the artifact. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I have it. Yeah. yeah. So um, what we could do, uh, as as I mentioned before, like this is this is supported in Cruncher, so that means in packet. Uh, but TMT uh, still applies that idea status. Um, so, how would you imagine we should probably add, add something like um, defining the artifact on the command line, and by default it could be I don't know. There would be some default. There would be some default, and you could you could uh, select this artifact on the command line, and based on that, uh, only the relevant plans would be run. Yeah, I, I guess. I guess I can use even plan minus 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 name, and just uh, specify mm -hmm. direct X for for run all the plans which can which are supported local, or something similar, and maybe discover even discover if I, uh, discover is inside the plan. There are but, also mm -hmm. tags, so you can filter out. You based can also on the text edit. You can tag your mm -hmm. uh, tests. Not sure about relevance yet, but yeah, for, for the for the plans, you can uh, don't don't be confused by by uh, by the names. Like um, the like the structure depends on you. So it you might have a, a directory called local local plans and packet plans. It like the 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 naming doesn't have to be plans. So you can group your plans which are uh, relevant for running from a local host into a separate directory, and in this way use easy to filter by regexp 
and and then I can create script to just run it without any any mm -hmm. any required to know the command or anything like that. Yeah, that sounds yeah. great. Thanks. Mm -hmm. That's basically what what I did uh, because I wanted to to be able to run only uh, locally. Basically, this this is this this is basically uh, planless. Uh, <coughs> what I did with this with this structure, I intentionally created this uh, under the under a different directory so that I can so that I'm able to uh, to run TMT TMT run plan uh, plan name plans. And this uh, this runs uh, this runs only local local. So this is this is if I want to do some fast uh, fast testing only on local host, I I do this like not, not with the discover, but like the whole testing. And this is done uh, using using this like directory structure. Yeah, so thank you, thank you all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so. Um, uh, if you have uh, like this, this plans ready, I think you can you can uh, try to create the pull request, which would have which would have this uh, this snippet of the packet YAML config edit, and it should work. It, the test should start working, and we will see what will break. So uh, that's uh, that's one of the options, and we have a couple of other sections here uh, to to go. Uh, into more detail, and this is uh, creating test. Uh, this includes a simple show template and bclip template, so we can have a look at that. And uh, there are there is some section about managing tests. This is something I showed yesterday, so that 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 probably is not that interesting, but uh, we can go through that. Maybe uh, let me know if you if you would like to uh, rather. If you want me to go further and go go through the quick start guide and give, give a short overview, or you would like uh, rather to deep dive into something you are you are trying to solve now. In the pull request, so uh, mm -hmm. I will I will commit everything and set it up. Uh, but so you can continue then before mm -hmm. I or until I finish it. Mm -hmm. Fine, fine, good. Um, okay, so uh, so with the creating test, so uh, one of the motivations for TMT was to to be to provide uh, an ability to easily create new tests, and that includes the templates. So if a developer who hasn't written any test wants to quickly start. Uh, so uh, we have this functionality to quickly create create a new test. So uh, it works uh, very easily. TMT uh, create test. Ah, it's uh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm mentioning plan here because uh, that's that's where you where you start. So if you do in it. You you can do in it uh, without without anything, and then you would have an empty directory. But um, then later you can you can decide to to put there something more. So let's see. Uh, I'm I'm here in the in the mini in the mini directory, and I would like to um, I would uh, I would create a plan plan create. But this time I would not uh, I would I would call it basic. Okay, let's let's say plan play basic. And uh, it asks for the template, and uh, instead of mini, which is used uh, with TMT in it as well, I would I would use this uh, full template. And if you look uh, if you look here, uh, so here we see that there is also the discover part and the pre prepare step example. So uh, you can tune it up as as, as you need. And the discover, the discover actually here shows, and um, and uh, probably more 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 common scenario, because what we were showing so far is like that you t you provide the smoke test directly in the plan, and that's about it. But usually uh, you have um, much many uh, much more many 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 tests, and you want to uh, have them maintain them in a, in a directories and and doing such stuff. So it it might make sense uh, to uh, to use. So for now, the Ansible part, I will 
just uh, go it away. And here for the discover step, I will use uh, FMF, which means look around in the Git repository for FMF metadata level one and find and use, uh, use all tests uh, which you were able to find. So uh, if I place here the repository, the test would be fetched from from a remote repo. Here is uh, GitHub TMT, but I would just delete it. And if it's if it's empty, the test would be detected or discovered from from the same repository here. So uh, in this way, uh, if I have the plan basic and I do TMT run discover now, uh, what we would get is that there's one uh, one test found in the in the example like this, which we had before. But but for the basic, it says uh, zero tests found because there are no tests. So if I do TMT, it says like there are no tests, there are uh, no level one metadata found. And um, so how does the test look like? Um, let's create it in the same way, in the very same way. TMT, subcommand test and create. So let's create a test smoke. TMT test create a smoke. And uh, it will ask uh, for the template again. So if we start with the with the shell template, uh, you would see that the directory was created, and in the directory you see the metadata and the test. Metadata are just the template, like a summary contact, and the test is some default, very simple template written written in shell. Uh, but let's see if uh, let's make it a li little bit more interesting by using the clip test, which has phases and uh, some additional stuff, which might be useful for a little bit more complex tests. So I would I would go and I would uh, create uh, create the test again, and it would be a template B clip template. Uh, yeah, it does not want to override existing tests so i put force there and there we have so let's see uh, small uh, sorry this book and the test looks like this uh here you see uh the basic structure of a bclip test at the start it sources uh some bclip uh, <clears throat> bclip functions uh which contain like journal start which starts and ends the journal and there, and there are separate like phase, several phases, uh, which this this is meant for for the preparation of the test. Then some cleanup, and in the middle, in the middle there is um, the test itself. So here we create a temporary directory, enter it, make sure the pipe fails even if there is uh, with the exit code even if there is a pipe, and here uh, the test itself very simple TMT help. The output it saves the output to uh, to a file and we grab we make sure that the uh, that the output contains a string so very simple test like that skeleton which you can which you can adjust as you as you need uh, and now um, if I look around it says okay I have found one test um, it is called test smoke TMP test show would give you an uh, overview of the of the test. That's the that's the default content. Uh, and now if I do TMT on discover, let's be a little bit verbose, uh, I would see that the plan, uh, our advanced plan basic, uh, which uh, discovers tests using FMF has discovered one test. The test is listed here. And if I would execute it, uh, it would, uh, it would run this it would run this test so let's see tmt run name hmm, name basic <clears throat> uh it runs in the virtual machine so it's slow let's let's be let's be quicker i would i think it would be a default So TMT run plan and basic container. It runs the tests. It uh, it makes sure that the B clip is installed because this, this is an extra package, and I have it installed already to, to make it a, a little bit faster. So if I go with some some more some more details, you would see that. Uh, 
uh, it checks that the, uh, that the big clip is installed, the package is installed, and then runs the test. And here is output, output of the test, probably too large. There's the setup, there's the test itself. It uh, runs the command, saves to the file, and then the output should contain test management. This is this is the assert, which makes sure that, that everything went well. So, so in this way, uh, you can easily create uh, many, many tests and uh, nicely organize them in the structure and do some additional stuff, uh, not, not only some smoke, smoke, smoke tests, but some, something more, uh, more interesting and more complex. Uh, for some more inspiration or some, some more examples, uh, I could show I could show something uh, from the from the uh, from the Git repo. Why? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So here, uh, test. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, we're using the TMT big clip tests. And this, this is like uh, everything under the structure tests. And uh, so let's see, I don't know, uh, CD core environment test, which is also, uh, if you want to TMP test show, show you, might, you might use also dot notation, which means uh, you want to limit, limit the, limit uh, the test to be shown or listed uh, on the everything which is under current directory so here here you see the information about about this test and uh, how how some a little bit more interesting big clip test can look like it what's what's nice about it uh, it gives you a nice log it gives you some nice log so for example i think we uh, add some Think exit codes, codes. Not sure. Codes. Yeah, yeah, exit codes. So that's maybe maybe interesting example. Uh, CD execute codes. Uh, here, uh, here is a test, and this is this is how an output of a big clip test looks like. Uh, this is uh, this is a test which is which is checking that uh, errors and failures and all this stuff are uh, well reported, and you you can for each test you get the section and the output and then the pass beginner and uh, and the over, overall result. And, uh, for this case, uh, if we run tests like this, we use that the execute is done as a as a uh, as a big clip. So we would you would see here uh, here in the in the plans on the uh, so that's basic for example that I'm using uh, the method is big clip and big clip dot tmt because it's it's executed in the in the local in the local tmt runner. This is something we want to uh, change in uh, in the in the near future. Because we want, uh, we originally thought that it's it would be good to specify in which way the test should be uh, uh, executed in the level two in each plan. But after a couple of workshops uh, with guys, we we had we realized that people would like also to sh uh, like have uh, inside a single plan run uh, simple shell tests and big clip tests as well and combine them. So it's not possible to have uh, to have this information level two, but we will have to store this in level one metadata so that each test can say I'm a simple shell test or I'm a big clip test. So that's tough. Uh, okay, any any questions to this part to like creating plan, creating test, these different different test types, or anything related to this? Okay, so if uh, if not, how is your pull request going, Irko? 
success. I already have a review from you here. <laughs> yeah. 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 Thanks, thanks. If you are specifying in execute the the script there, you can take a look, uh, Peter, if you want, uh, if you look at the fast change. So he has he has uh, there a discover discover phase, but he uh, like runs something in uh, execute script. So uh, I think that is then not needed. Um, I think that will not merge. So if he has that smoke test, we discover how FMF, but in execute he executes a script. I think that will the discover FMF doesn't need to be there. Any. Uh, yes. If you don't have any other tests in the repository, so then uh, the discover how FMF is not needed. Uh, but it can be uh, it can be even combined. Uh, like it will not break. It will just say like I haven't found any level one metadata. So the only test I have found is the script in the execute. So there will be that one test. And uh, I think it should be uh, possible to combine. So if you if you create a new test. Uh, like as, as I just have uh, shown using TMT test create, you can have like there would be a second test and both of them would be run. But if there are no level one tests, it's not necessary. Well, I will definitely definitely change it, but I don't want to do that now because it will uh, start the test, tests running there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, good. So packet is packet is. Oh, okay, and tests are running. Very nice. It's screaming. I, yeah. I have a quick question because I don't know the status of that. Uh, can you bypass a package? Just run the tests without like building any package. Is it is it ready? So. No. How how would it work? Because you wouldn't you wouldn't have any. You would have the RPM sources. Ah. <laughs> I, I I didn't know the uh -huh. stages for that, but uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. generally, I think we have to talk about something like that, uh, but it's not implemented, apparently. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I, yeah, I didn't know about that, so maybe that's some new feature coming. So it might be easy, even, even more easy to, like, uh, uh, yeah. to directly execute. Directly uh, check uh, like the, with the, with the sources and without without building an RPM. Hmm? Interesting. Okay, so very good. Uh, so uh, cruncher is crunching. We might see maybe some results in the near future. Let's see. Can Can you show the dashboard if if uh, you see uh, how many? Projects are actually building uh, or running or on testing farm. Yeah, that's the dashboard packet. Yeah, yeah. Dashboard. Dashboard packet. Yeah. Jobs. But there it's is. a little bit misleading, I think, now because I think by default, packet uh, runs uh, via testing farm all the time. So we added there the feature that we always at least test the installation of the copper build on the, on the mm -hmm. VM. So uh, it might be maybe misleading, but yeah. yeah. But it's very cool that you actually do a test. Yeah, th there is a test test runs tab. So you are in the wrong tab. There is a test runs tab, and that is the one. So uh, you're test running runs, okay. tests for users uh, even if they don't know it. <laughs> yes, yes, they are running via testing farm. It should be there. Oh, it's running uh, nice. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a tiny question about some file issue. I didn't understand i was checking ansible and other stuff it was fine-ish but uh, uh if it is possible could you show me how do you send file into container in in tmt because i didn't i tried to do it but i didn't do it so can you show me some foolproof test please something because i didn't understand that part of it or i didn't find it i mean if it's in the documentation please point it because i didn't specifically find it so i'm kind of between stuck with that Mm -hmm. So that's and that that's a file which you which you have in the Git repo or no, it's, in, some it's, in, it's in the local. If it is Git repository, okay, that's fine. It's working. I can just shell run a shell script and jump in the file and do that specifically. It's easy, but I didn't find the local file test. So I don't. Let's just say I want to do it in locally before sending the GitHub repository. So that's why I was wondering how do I do it in uh, locally. But uh, okay, actually, I can run a local TMT way that's 
fine, mm -hmm. but I uh, I would like to know. Uh, I have a file and I have a project, and I would like to send this one to a remote uh, server, Podman server, something I have. But I would like to, you know, send. Okay, let's just say I found, figured it out, send my files. But can I send my files into Podman container via TMT, or should I do it myself over a volume network? I didn't test part. Mm. Uh, we we don't have any uh, any specific function for this, like sending sending file, uh, sending file to the to the to the guest or to the container. But if if the file is available at the time when the discover phase is done, then the file is included in the in the run directory, so it should be available in the container. Okay, so. I have to, so, okay, so what I understand is, uh, please, if I'm wrong, correct me, guys. So I have to create a mm -hmm. Podman Docker file and then do my own simple preparation and send my files and something like that. We are, you, use this put stuff on Docker file. So my files will be in there. And also, I'm going to open my network share and something like that. So volume share and send my files. Then run everything else with TMT and install it and do whatever is required to be. So, that's what I understand, basically, if this is correct. Mero, can you can you confirm like this? I'm not sure. Uh, can you show us? Can you show us? How you because I'm still not sure I'm following you completely. So you should have the whole local directory available to you in the container, right? So that is there. But if you need anything yeah. else, you will need to somehow get it there via curl or I don't know how. Can, like, can you can you show us directly what what you have there, uh, or we can try to find out the solution for you maybe. Uh, I just created um, some simple file on TMT, but I didn't find or I, I don't know how to specify use that file in my container. So I I didn't find the way out. So I just created. And you created it. Yeah. And you created it where in the local in, in the current working directory where you are running. Yeah, yeah I just here. create yeah in like basically it's next to TMT plans. I have some main.py, some simple show me this version of the Python version or something to be testing purposes. Mm -hmm. I tried to put mm -hmm. the file into my dark container via TMT, but I'm trying to see or figure mm -hmm. out that, that, that kind of possibility. It should be already there, Petr. It should be already responsible yeah. from TMT yeah. execute. So you should not need to anyhow move any file, which like basically the whole uh, working directory should be available to you in in the execute uh, scripts which you run, right? So she should be there as a local file. So let's. Better can you? Uh, I, can you I can. Yeah. yeah, I will try to. I will try to show how this how this should work. So what do we have here? So we have the so the <clears throat> plans example. Uh, the plans example is doing uh, it does okay so we so, so this. we just execute something and uh, let's let's say the execute uh, the test itself would be get um, some file get some file uh, or I don't know yeah, let, let's just make it get some file and uh, you would have this file created here, so that would be just the sum file oh, with some with some content. And uh, if uh, if we run, let's be let's be very verbose. And I think uh, plan name is example. <clears throat> I think it. It's it should just just work, yeah yeah. Here you see, so uh, so this is this is how I uh, how I did it. I, I just created the file is here, file is here, and in the plan example, I just I just use cat okay, some file. Okay, I found my I found my mistake. So I didn't. I, I'm basically blind for listening to you guys and stuff like that. I'm sorry. I have to type main.py, but I type main.python. I was like. Why is it not work? I didn't know oh. this. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to. <laughs> okay, okay, now it's working. No now it's working. So I can run everything on my project. So awesome. Thank you, guys. Sorry, mm -hmm. sorry, sorry, sorry. Super. No problem. Super. No problem. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. 
And uh, just just to clarify this, this working directories, it, it might be it might be sometimes sometimes confusing. Uh, in the specification, uh, or TMP spec, which is here, uh, as I uh, described like yesterday, this this uh, different metadata levels, the level one, which describes tests. So here uh, on the left, you would see all the attributes which are available for a test. And one of those attributes is called path. And uh, it says uh, how to, what is the, what should be the current directory uh, when executing the test. So here you could say that I have this directory uh, test slash data, and it, it would enter this directory but before executing the test. And you could have all the necessary files under that directory. That, that might be one option. Yeah, I was checking that patch thingy, uh, but didn't run it. So that's probably my naming issue. So that's why it was the problem, mm -hmm. basically. So yeah, uh, but uh, yeah. there's a tiny the, question. The yeah, please. Okay, I, I just I just clarify if I if if you have a look in the in the helps. Uh, here is an example. So here it it shows how. How it's possible I, I to enter some data. I was basically trying to ba doing based on that example you showed me. Mm -hmm. So I was mm -hmm. basically like, why is it not working? I was like, I was in like between stuck with this. I tried to put on execute and put on discover. Mm -hmm. So probably mm -hmm. as I'm saying, I didn't notice the file change because I was listening here and looking there. I, I didn't notice this extension. So sorry, my fault. Yeah, 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 no problem. Mm -hmm. Good. But you had some question on mine. Uh, so yeah, a tiny question. So uh, there is a command. Uh, you showed me, but I didn't see it, or basically I maybe misunderstand it because it was just screen sometimes frozen a little bit because of the delay. So can mm -hmm. we use uh, the same container I created for testing purposes? Because you know, it, let's just say if I'm downloading a lot of stuff and get some packages, I don't want to do this like like zero every time. So can we use exiting container? After the from the first test, because I would just refresh my files, but I don't want to install everything and like you know, GitHub cloning yes. and yada yada yada, etc. Because let's just say I have some big pile of installing processing, mm -hmm. so I, don't, I just mm -hmm. want to skip that yeah. part. I can create some Podman file mm -hmm. and save it as a file, but can we just you know do some maybe lazier way if it is possible in TMT? Just want to clarify and learn about it. Mm -hmm. So, if I understand uh, the use case uh, well. Uh, I think this here in examples on the on the documentation page, there is a page with examples. It's a lar large one. Yeah. There's a bunch of stuff there. So one of the sections here, how to run tests, it shows some hints how to debug tests. So th there, th this might be some uh, one option. Uh, it's possible to do uh, the provisioning part and preparation and whatever. And then you can use uh, minus uh i like specifying or use the last run so uh, you can you can do like the preparation which takes uh, a lot of time or uh, some time and then you can execute 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 around the execute step uh, again and again and uh, so again so i can do basically do tmt run id which is the id one let's just say my first test then i can just use mm -hmm. again and again but when i when i update my file it will just put my files and run it run as it is mm -hmm. but my files already will be in there because i this create this all kind of processing will be just skipped basically what i understand uh yes okay yes awesome. I, I think i think it should it should work like that with the container thanks to uh thanks to the volume mount you don't even have to like sync sync again the, the files like if you update the tests uh, but uh, we have an issue for making this a little bit more simple, even for the VM config uh, or, or the virtual machine case, because uh, if you modify tests, then the discover step has to be done uh, once again, because the tests have to be copied there or updated in the in the run directory. But uh, this is uh, actually this this uh, that, that was one of the use cases we definitely wanted to have covered that you do TMT TMT run. Um, Okay, let's let's go plan name smoke and you you say i want to go only until execute and this means that uh, it will execute the steps but only those until execute and i specified name smoke so it yeah <laughs> so you see it tests the smoke test in in all the different all the different 
uh, environments. So I, I choose only the local one. So here you see, uh, I, I do it like this and the steps go like discover, provision, prepare, execute, and then it stops. And you can do TMT run last, execute, execute again, which, which means force, right? With force, because if you if you do do like this, it says like ah uh, the execution has been already done. It was already done. Nothing to do. But if I do force, it means that the execution will be uh, done once again. So in this way, you can you can like modify your test uh, or modify. Uh, modify the RPM package and then then install it once again and in this like in an iterative way to debug the test and improve it until you are until you are satisfied like everything is okay and once it is you can do <clears throat> or you can do uh, last do run last execute and report so so that you so that you see what what actually uh, how the test went and uh, like doing this uh, several several times even with some more verbosity to to see what happened and once everything is done you would see you would do like run last uh since report and uh, that should be it i think and in the case uh because i'm running locally so it does nothing but in case there was a virtual machine so only when you run the finished part the virtual machine would be turned off and and the container would be removed and such so stuff i just yeah, noted this some of the commands as an example i'm typing my stuff when i listen to you so awesome thank you for clarification and showing me how to do it and thank you so much i mean i will try mm -hmm. it and if i stuck with it something i can find you guys in irc or here or somewhere else so, yeah thank you yeah sure you're welcome So that that would be where like we have uh, last like ten minutes or so. Uh, that if that I'm test that correctly. Uh, Irka added that PR if you have it open that should work in Cruncher. I'm not sure now. So the the one uh, we discover FMF and just uh, executing those tests that should work because he's getting there some error. Uh, yeah, I will send you a link because it's I uh, restarted the tests. Uh, it's okay. Looking, looking appearing in the chat now. It's, yeah. If you look at the, so that should work. This one, the the basic one, should work. So this is uh, discover FMF uh, provision is ignored, right? And then execute, execute, and the test is. Um... Meaning that execute doesn't have script. Yeah. Execute doesn't have script. Uh, yeah. Uh, the links are in the chat. I'm. I think uh, you know. I, I think the Scruncher doesn't support these uh, uh, shell-based FMF tests, right? So that will be the problem, right? I think. Let me see. It doesn't, yeah. it doesn't like us. But... No, it's like. Uh, it should should not exist, exist anymore. That system should not exist anymore. So I will need to migrate it to TMT so we don't have any issues. Script. It, it will not work. Yes. Yeah, it will not work. Execute, ah, execute so. simple script that should definitely work or not. Yeah, it should run. Uh, but in latest container, is it, it does, yes. does it have a Python tree? Sorry? Yeah, it is. Yeah. No, I was just uh, thinking. Python is Python three exists in the latest container, so it should be yeah 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 no, nothing else. Okay, nothing. Yeah, uh, better it works for the weekly tests, but for the shell test, I think we discover <laughs> FMF it doesn't work, so that will be the problem in Cruncher. I mean, almost Bickley. almost sure that that is the case. It should be simpler, not complex. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's, that's... Simple. Easy, I will fix it. I, I will work on it so we have TMT everywhere and these issues are not there. I think I think I think it, so it, 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 it broken because of some screen issue we had. I think that just break the glass and break the system. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will I, I will update my test if you agree. If you don't have problem with the logs, the logs are here. So. Work, uh, put there. Yeah, put there the artifact build for or or some artifact that is not pull request for the basic and it will run just the just smoke, smoke test right for now. Because that basic test just won't work, I think. That how shell doesn't work, but we support how bickerly we discover FMF better. I think in Cruncher that always worked. 
Uh-huh. That's a surprise for me. I thought I thought Kreitra knows that, but hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, well, but it's possible. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let, let's get rid of Cruncher yes. soon <laughs> to make it consistent. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so for the for the remaining uh, time, uh, what we have exploring tests, uh, sharing tests. There's a couple of things uh, mentioned uh, in the in the quick start guide maybe uh, maybe to just highlight some of those or remind so you can have uh, the tests do not have to reside uh, in the same repository you can reference uh, a remote repository you can share for example we have uh, i don't know tests shell i think uh, we introduced like this uh, in the test namespace or federal test namespace it's possible to have uh, to have a test repository and share tests. So here is an example how like all the POSIX compliant shells can share a single test repository and then you can reference it uh, from, from individual components. Uh, so that's uh, that's one thing to, to consider or uh, downstream you can test upstream tests and, and doing such stuff. So there, this is something that might be interesting. And there is a section with various hints. Uh, so just to make sure in the script and the in the lab to metadata under execute, you can use multiple commands, not only a single one, or even a multi-line script, show script that should be working nicely uh, with TMT, not, not sure about cruncher. Uh, it's possible to reference multiple repositories. So each step uh, Except for execute, I think for now can I have uh, multiple multiple configurations. So here, for example, you see the discover discover steps a step is doing like fetching tests from Fedora and uh, fetching another set of tests from upstream, and all those tests uh, which which will be discovered from those two locations will be executed in a single plan. So that's uh, that's uh, some some nice feature that could be useful as well. And here is all at the end only some like overview that the, the the very minimal path how to create a new test could look like this that you just clone the repository you initialize it you adjust the minimal plan and you run it and it's done and here's some extended minimal example which uh, which shows like creating a test uh, a dedicated uh, test not not simple simple one in a in level two metadata some tips for virtualization uh, by the way uh, about virtualization uh, uh should we uh, we can also add a uh, federation link wiki link over there for extensive usage and stuff like that maybe if that is okay because it's just a simply open and have to add it on something maybe it could be nice uh, documentation add-on on it because it's also about virtualization so uh huh. So is there is there some page which we which we could reference? Yeah. yeah. Uh, let me let me, let me yeah. just let me uh -huh. pull it up. Yeah, yeah. Great. Super. Super. That will be useful. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I know there's an up, updated one, so let me just check it out. Coming up. Uh, yeah, Yerko, for the for the artifact, use uh, what what we have here in the in the TNT example, and it's oh, I don't have it today. It's it's plant helps. I think yeah, this like this update. Okay, uh, which means basically uh, the pull request and having yes. everything else. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. By default, Cruncher takes like it's everything is relevant, but if the artifact is specified, it looks for a pull request. It, it should work like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I put the other documentation links over there, so for extensive information, so how to manage and add or use cases because it has more mm -hmm. uh, abilities. So you know, it, it uh -huh. some people need to be check out what's going on over there, so you can see how to start the position over there. So it's like everything is in basically over there, so they they mm -hmm. can just read it out and have it proper uh, use mm -hmm. it. So that will be awesome to have it an add-on because TMT also related. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Thanks for pointing that. Yeah, that will be definitely. But, but, uh, currently, like I tried to put in Discover and when defining shell tests, I put there the list, and that doesn't work yet. Uh, yeah, there is a link in the chat. Uh, you can take a look. I try to add the, to the one package that I own in Fedora I test, but yeah, I think I think it doesn't work well. Hmm, I'm trying to 